Good morning, everyone. The reason I say morning because it's a little after midnight as I say this. And as you guys know, it's Black Friday. Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. First video in about a week. Partially because I couldn't really record a video because I've been congested for the last couple weeks. Bad way to start after having a job for the first time, but I've been able to <coughs> get through it. Of course, a couple days at the beginning of this week, my voice sounded so bad, it sounded like I had cancer of the throat. Couldn't even sing normally, but now I can hear the notes. Yeah, the highest part of my range, I had to do it. But. Anyway, as I said, it's Black Friday. You know what that means, Black Friday specials. I normally would wait until after I've had some sleep to record this, but I couldn't wait. I signed them up. Going to be doing some RPing, so I might as well. Now, I spent 30 bucks this time because I mostly got I got like a handful of movies but I mostly got the one dollar ones I got one two three four I got five one dollar of the two dollar movie two dollar movies actually so that's ten bucks I got three of the five dollar movies and then I got two blu-rays that were three dollars so spent like thirty three bucks <clears throat> give or take Anyway, I'm going to start off with the $1 movies. Into $1 movies, first I got a movie that I've heard mixed things about, but I've been meaning to want to see it for a while. There's two sequels to it, which they did have one of the sequels, but I decided I'll just start with this one. And it has a bunch of special features, which for two bucks can't beat it. The movie, of course, is I've Come for the Woman in Your Head. Ah, stand alone. Yeah, the Scorpion King. Sorry about the glare, everyone. The Scorpion King. And next we got a movie that, if I remember correctly, I believe Matt liked this movie. I think it was on his best films of 2010 list. I mean, you to watch it. It looked like a fun movie, fun children's movie. <coughs> Legend of the Guardians, the Owls of Gaul. Uh, in case you wonder what the features are, it has a couple featurettes. And of course, next... This is where the crux of a debate while I was there was for me. I decided they had two versions of this. One for ten dollars had a bunch of stuff, and then this one for two dollars. So I decided just to get the two dollar one because I could always look up the special features online if they have it. And I didn't really know. And I've seen both versions of this movie. I didn't really notice any major differences, like many minor. But I also I also have the director's cut of Navy Eye, so I can always compare again. And of course is a movie I liked that I've actually talked to people on the bus at this and they're kind of mixed on it some don't really like it that much some think it's okay and add things but I like the movie now my favorite superhero movie that I say I, the time waster of a superhero movie I liked it better than uh, the Nolan Batman movies but that's just me and of course the movie is In Brightest Day In Darkest Night No Evil Shall Escape My Sight Those Who Worship Evil's Might Beware My Power Green Lantern's Light the next is a movie that people are mixed on this sequel and I only recently noticed now that I got the PG-13 cut which it doesn't bother me I mean maybe I'll look up the unrated cut one day but I hear there's only like minor differences like some additional stuff that kind of seems just tacked on so it doesn't matter I mean, I'll give this one a lot I plan on giving these films a watch before the next movie comes out anyway movie yippee mother beep <laughs> PG-13, I had to do that joke, sorry. And the last one is a movie I remember seeing uh, trailers for, and I've actually been meaning to watch it, because it looked like a movie that would be up my alley in the drama department. The movie, of course, is Children of Men. <coughs> now, the $5 movies, I mostly got these movies because one of them I've been meaning to get on DVD, and the other two I've been meaning to get in my collection in the first place and like last year I'm surprised one of these was automatically in the five dollar bin but let me just see anyway the first one the one I've been meaning to get in DVD a movie I reviewed last year your mean one Mr. Grinch you really are here then of course the next ones are release the Kraken Clash of the Titans and then the second one, next it will be Tears. It's sequel, Wrath of the Titans. In case you're wondering, the special features, 
On Clash, the only special features are like extended scene, additional scenes, which I'm fine with that. They had a Blu-ray, but it was a couple bucks more. I decided not to get it. It had the same features. The only additional one was an alternate ending, but that could be on here because it just has additional scenes. So, and <clears throat> Wrath of the Titans, it only has deleted scenes, which I'm fine with that. I actually look forward to watching them. And they also had a Blu-ray, but it was like a little bit, a lot more expensive, and I only had a little bit of money to work with. Now the two Blu-rays I got are the three-dollar ones. One of them I know I got last year on Black Friday in the DVD, but I couldn't pass this up because I've actually been thinking of upgrading to the more special one. So I decided to just get the Blu-ray while I had it. Oh, maybe I'll just keep the DVD, and, like make my own two-pack, have a copy of the DVD and the Blu-ray. Anyway, the first one is a movie I just discovered this year. I watched it one time with Jeff, and I actually do want to watch a sequel one of these days. And I loved it. I do not see why the critics hated it, because some of them did. Actually, the majority of them did, like a few liked it. Anyway, the movie is, of course, The Shepherds We Shall Be For Thee, My Lord, For Thee. Boondock Saints. And then, of course, the next one is... Spartans! What is your profession? Ahoo! Uh Ahoo! Uh See, I told you. The main reason I got this was the special features. You know, stuff like additional scenes, uh, 300 Spartans, Factor Friction, other stuff. So I'll probably put it in there, but I couldn't pass it up then. Anyway, that's my Black Friday 2012 haul. <coughs> and the thing about it is, I went with Freddy, my neighbor. I was going to go with Kyle, but. Kyle would have been an hour late, so I'd probably still be in line right now if I had gone with Kyle. Freddie was leaving. He offered to drive me. Freddie's a nice neighbor. And he also, we were in line for about an hour. We got him talking about a bunch of stuff. He was a fun guy to talk with. And also, he offered to help me take my scooter into the shop when I eventually do, and he even offered to give me a ride to school on Fridays because we were talking about it, and I told him. And he's a very nice neighbor. He's a neighbor that, you know, I wouldn't mind him being there for a long time. I mean, they've already been there a long time, but even longer. And also, it doesn't hurt matters, the fact that the, I think it's the family he's going to be marrying into or something. Is, I'm a friend of one of his the cousins or something, but I don't know what side of the family it is. But Anyway, that's my 2012 Black Friday haul. I hope all of you had a happy Thanksgiving. It's loaded up on turkey. I have a second turkey to make this weekend. So that means on Monday, pull a drumstick out of my backpack. What do you guys got for lunch? I know I'm planning on doing that, actually. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, stay tuned for the stuff that I mentioned in my last video.